this winner's finals action for you. Oh, he is Dame Falcon. Cool. And he's going with the OG Hero Chic color. Is this the... Oh, Hero Chic. Oh, wow. Yep. The first time I ever played Hero was this Chic color. Yep. This is my uh, my color. It's Back when one. I made this character. I do like this color. It's very underrated. Oh, my God. Dude, this is why this matchup Perfect. isn't too fun at or low Pivots. percent. Man, I just... She she can rack up damage forever on Falcon. Same thing with uh, with characters like Fox. Falcon yeah. has a hard life against uh, characters with good cobble game. Yeah. And this is um this is actually very interesting because usually Mars goes Falcon as a counter pick to sort of um mitigate the amount of damage that FD does to him, like does to his uh, his zero suit. But they actually struck to FD. Yeah, yeah. So. so Mars is voluntarily going Falcon in game one. Mm -hmm. Um, I th this is something that they usually do too. Except really, yeah. I I know that some balance patches it's been like some game one, game one, same. No, no. Falcon. Well, some some game one on FD and it'll be Sheik versus Lucario. Game Lucario. one. Lucario. Yeah, mm. game one. I do love the Mars Cario. Uh, yeah, he he says he likes it versus Sheik, but yeah, FD. That's pretty much the only character I think it's valid against as a counter pick. You dumbass. You fucking... He was at 170, so he's probably dead from, like, anything soon. But, you know, that's still a heartbreaker. Yeah. Especially when you can get... The, if you have 170 Rages Falcon, you want to use that. Yeah, side B would have destroyed Cheek. Mm -hmm. Run behind, side B the other <laughs> way. That's the classic. Oh, the weak one for glory, Falcon. <laughs> that cross-up, though. 3DS for glory. <laughs> oh... <laughs> oh, that would have been a sick call out. Oh, I, like, I know you're gonna run up and grab. Let me just toss it. Okay. Oh, dude. Whose man's is this? What? What is anything he's doing right now? I don't understand the thought process Where's behind this top 20 PGR player. <laughs> dude. Okay. I don't think he's gonna try that anymore. I don't think that went his way at all. <laughs> not at all. That I would not. Is. I would not retry the Falcon. Um. It's not worth it, man. Because he only wanted it for uh, FD. For FD. Yeah. Maybe it was a throwaway game, you know? Maybe he was just like, get it out of my way. <laughs> so I don't have to ban it. True. I mean, it is modified DSR. So yeah, Kool-Aid, so if this does go to a game five situation, and uh, Mars is uh, the recipient of the game four victory, then Kool-Aid will actually be able to go back to FD for game five. Mm -hmm. So that's very interesting to note. And I wouldn't put it past these two players to go to a Game 5 situation, because they actually do pretty often nowadays. Although, he does get a ban, though, right, Mars? Uh, yeah. So, he would probably... I don't know if he can ban FD, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's skinny bitch privilege, but she skinny bitch goes up, so... Yeah, she goes up, so... That's that's worse for her. Oh, back air would have been perfect. Yo, this, this is broken. He's camouflaging. Oh, true. Mars can't even see him. True ninja. That is a true. <laughs> that's the most chic gameplay you can get. Is oh, picking yeah. your color based on the stage. <laughs> I don't even know why. The, he he shouldn't have died to that, right? That, skinny bitch privilege, dude. She's gonna pop off the top. But like he he got hit by the last hit of up B. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> he shouldn't have died to that, right? He should have just held down. I'm and, still confused by some fine. of the stuff in this game, man. I don't know. Anyway, I think he should have held down and he would have been fine. But yeah, we're, we're going to, we're going to a different chic color, different. I mean, we could try it out, though. New so. clothes, new me. Oh, he's camouflaging again. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hold up. He's taking me to space? I'm taking no, he's, I'm taking you to space. Let me, let me put my astronaut, like, black suit. Oh, man, dude. All right, Lilac Cruise for game three. I do think it's a good pick from Kool-Aid. Good stage for Sheik overall. Great combos, but uh, a little less needle game. I don't think Kool-Aid really cares about the needle game in this matchup, though. No. Yeah. I definitely would not. And um, the platforms, the most important aspect about this stage for Sheik in this specific matchup is that there's not the third elevated platform in the middle of the stage for ZSS to extend her ladder combos on. Yeah. And that actually makes a huge difference. Um, and the way the platforms are angled above the, the ground below them it makes it so that way Sheik's tipper... Or Sheik's up smash will always tip her. Yes. Uh, no matter if the stage is tilted or what. Mm -hmm. she'll, she'll just always get the tipper up smashed on the platform. Even on the middle platform, which she has no access to on any other At, stage. Yeah, except for like Town and City when it dips real low, but that is so situational. So situational. Like, Here just the ability just a nice to, little luxury. to always have that, that pressure option on the platforms that can potentially lead into a kill. Yeah. Um, just super great. <laughs> he so he walked up into that. It wasn't even like a full dash. I think he wanted to dash and then like catch ZSS standing up. 
Uh, that With was the taper yeah. part, you know what I mean? Which is something that, like, being a tall character... It's uh, kind of CSS. a detriment. Yeah. Definitely not too good for her. I mean, that's that's also the bane of characters like Mewtwo and Rosalina, is they're just very tall. They're, yeah. they're very big. Very tall. That's sweet. That wasn't even sweet spot. Sour spot killed. eventually will kill. It's still a strong move, Dude, honestly. Super strong. Sour spot, up smash is not to be slapped on. We're going to see an up smash here. Nope. Uh, goes for it, but does miss. First grenade, interesting. Does actually break up the grab. Mars probably not too thrilled about that. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely shaking in his boots. Beaver out of shield. Gonna get the boots. Those are great boots. Yeah. They're rocket boots. Amazing boots. Ooh. I love short hop air dodge into an aerial. Yeah, very good with a lot of characters. So good, yeah. That B reverse off the ledge. Wow. Uh, that gets me every time, dude. Every time he does it, I'm like, what a legend. Yeah, I mean. So consistent. Eventually, you know, they're gonna slip up at the ledge. Yeah. And you're gonna be able to get a B reverse into a meaty early kill. Mm -hmm. I like that Kool-Aid just waiting for the option. Okay, jab gonna... Okay. Oh, get the down to the... I was afraid he wasn't gonna be able to do anything. He definitely thought Kool-Aid would tech in place, but the uh, the tilt messed him up a little bit, so... Yeah. Okay, just center stage. Oh, don't give him that! You fuck... Can't give him that, man. How many times have we seen you that? You know that he's gonna look for it at, at some point. And once a game, I'm I feel... I'm stressed. Like. I'm stressed out for Kool-Aid right now. Oh, Wait, thank you. What is this? An entire what? Nintendo 3DS? No, no. I want a he 3DS headset. Can I plug this in right now and commentate with it? <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna use this for my PS4. This thing. I'll try it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that's dope. Let's go. I'm pumped. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. Wave one a giveaway. Let's All right, go. so we're going back to Lilac Cruz. Definitely right call. He had that game. Let's face that, it. Yeah, dude. I'm pissed about it. I'm still mad. This this. Calm me down quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie, this headset calm me <laughs> the down quite a bit. Yeah. Show the people. I can go uh, talk. Next yeah, game. yeah. Next game, I'm gonna. I get to talk to all my buds on Picto Chat. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Either way, I'm picking up girls on Picto Chat. Oh my god, I need to. All day, teach me every day. You teach me the lobbies. <laughs> Tinder it's for losers. All about Picto Chat 3ds. Oh, wow. Nice. Holy and shit. Th that confirm again. We actually mentioned it earlier in an earlier set against Blair, I believe. Yeah, when he um, went to do, go follow up with the back air. He went to follow up with the back air because he hit the tail uh, tipper end yeah. of, of that uh, down smash from Zero Suit Samus. Uh, typically not really the strongest option from the character. Like, you don't really get a whole lot out of that. Pretty much just the back air. But, yeah. Um, even so, Holy you know, finding the optimal confirm, it does miss it, but, like, I, I love that he's going for it. That was a huge big brain move coming out from Mars. Oh, so yeah. Kool-Aid had the landing right and everything. He was going for up smash, but Mars used the down air right above Sheik. So that way he got the stall from the down air. So the up smash so the up smash whiffed, whiffed. and then he punished with down air. Very smart. That was a huge brain move. Large coming brain, 200,000 IQ. Coming out from our hero Mars, who just has some weird plot armor sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I feel like things just uh, don't hit him. Like, and some, wow, that was... A Janky May not be though. number one in our region this don't season. Don't fucking air dodge. Don't. You're dead. dead. Right, well. Mars and Grand Finals, yay. <laughs> but uh, Mars. I'm just glad Kool-Aid didn't. May not be number one in our there. region this season, but there's way it's 3DS. Yeah. Look at this. That he to I just away, won this. Way. The portable solution for quality sound. This is portable, and it's a solution for quality sound. I've been struggling with quality sound. I've been struggling sound. for quality sound for a while, yeah. though. I got I just been tossing and turning. So look, it comes with a padded headband. Peace out, Susan. Right. Oh, see you later, dude. Nice seeing you. Comes with a padded headband. Compact design. Folds flat for storage and travel. Wow, this thing has it all. It has it all, man. Oh, it has the button to control your microphone. So if I'm if my mom's talking to me or something, she's dinner's ready. Shut up, mom. <laughs> Shut the mic off real quick, you know. Wow. <laughs> Shut up, mom! Play with my Solution friends. Solution for quality sound. <laughs> I'm getting the sick Go Tanks combo, mom! Mom, fuck me up! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we have losers semis, correct? Yes. And uh, talk about a classic, man. Yeah. Dude, top. Look at this top four. Talk about a classic. <laughs> this is as classic as it gets. This. Yeah, is I don't even think they have a set count record anymore. I think it's like seeded numbers. It's, it's just gone beyond even, numbers. I wouldn't even count it. Like, it, it's gone. It's transcended. 
Yeah. And we're getting uh, we're getting some. I heard Rosalina. Yeah, they're they're messing around. They better be. Okay. <laughs> These two have played each other so much. Obviously, it's Pug messing around. Craftus yeah. has never touched He's another just, character yeah. in his life. Chilling on the <laughs> default <laughs> Sonic. Tyler Martin. Yeah, your Martins. This is loser semifinals. Yes. yes, we're in the top four now. Oh wow! Oh, I love Clipboard. He's getting the characters down. What a legend! <laughs> so these two have had. Numerous, numerous amounts of sets. Um, yeah. And every one of those sets has been more mental knowledge, more uh, situational awareness, more character-specific tech being developed on both ends. I feel like these two really, to an extent, kind of push each other to their limits. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're such similarly skilled players. Um, both... Characters that aren't as common in the meta. Shout out to Wizard. Shout out to Wizard. Come, come here. Hosting fantastic the host tournament of series. SCS. We're gonna we're gonna